So you've got a skill there for that quest. Now the way skills work is almost like it's like a book which you then learn. So you just click on it, learn it. And then this one I believe is a passive ability. Increases my physical crit rating by 50 when in the air. So it actually makes it beneficial for me to uh, fight in mid-air, which is pretty cool. Now crafting I haven't actually really got into yet. Um, I've done some extracting, which is basically if you see ore or plants of certain types on the, on the floor, you can click on them and you, your character will scavenge um, the stuff out of them. But I haven't done actually any actual crafting, so I can't comment on that just yet. As you can see, just the character design and everything reminds me of, um, of the Final Fantasy series. I suppose it's typical of Asian style games, but it's really awesome. I'm not too sure if the game actually has an auction house, which is one of my loved features in uh, WoW and other MMOs. That ability to have your own little economy going on, but it does have player-run shops, as you can see, people with like buy, buy, buy above the head and sat on chairs. It's, it's quite typical of an Asian MMO. So now the my campaign quests are too high level for me now, really. Level 12, and I'm level 10. So it's then a good idea to go back into your um, your main basic quests. Now one of the cool things is when you're looking at your quests you'll see names um, and objects highlighted. Now what this means is for uh, usually in an MMO you have to read the quest description to find where you're going and a lot of MMOs recently have started kind of holding your hand and showing you where to go. Now what Aeon does is it actually gives you the ability to choose manually whether you want to um, to do this. So, for example, I could just go to this quest, Hunt Spiral Lob Notes, um, and I could go and find them if I wanted to. If I wanted to make it difficult for myself, I could do that. But, if I want to make it easier, you click on the name and you click Locate. And then it actually plays a marker on your map there. So then if I go to that marker, you'll find the enemy will be there. Um, and the marker moves as well appropriately to to whatever the where the objective the objective is. And um, so it's a really cool feature. I mean, it means that if you don't want your hand held, held, then you don't have to. But if you do, then the option's there. Being an assassin, I can go in stealth, so he can't detect me. And then I can use my backstab move. There you go, enemy defeated. And it pops up at the top there saying 2 out of 11 done. So, And then the quest marker is then moved. Another cool thing that you can do is um, you can actually link uh, locations in the chat. So say someone's asking where do I go to kill so and so. If someone's done it now, location in the chat. Click on that and it'll put a marker on your map. Uh, and that's just really, really cool. Uh, if you ever need help with a quest, just ask in the general chat and people are always willing to, to give you a, a, a helping hand. Um, you can also do that with items, obviously, as to be expected. Now, as I said, combat is pretty standard to what you'd expect from a MMO. Um, but there is some twists uh, which keep things interesting. But I'm still, like I say, I'm only level 10. The level cap for the game is 50. As you can see, I don't really have that many spells, uh, abilities. Um, I've got one here which is Divine Strike, which deals damage and heals myself, but it, it requires DP, um, something which I don't currently understand. I'm sure I'll find out soon how that works.
If there's ever any um, lag spikes there, it's because the video is switching over. As you can see, I mean, I'm recording here, um, and I'm still getting a steady 30 frames per second um, when playing in standard environment, and which is just awesome. I mean, really done a re an awesome job of making the engine just run smoothly on lower end PCs, yet still look really good. Um, if we go into my settings here, you can see I've got some stuff on higher options, some stuff on medium. I've turned shadows off. I've got all the weather on there, character level of detail and glow effect, and I'm playing in a window uh, with anti-aliasing turned on. And it's running really, really well. Um, there's a lot of customization you can do to the different options and stuff in the game. Change all the different camera stuff and whatnot, as you'd expect. The interface doesn't appear to be that moddable. Um, I can't comment for, for certain, but from what I see, it doesn't really look like you can move stuff about to a massive extent to uh, really change the interface up. Um, but it's not really a big issue. I mean, the interface for me is, is exactly how I play every other game anyway, so it's not an issue. Um, but for some, I know a lot of people do like customizing their interface um, the specific way they want it. Um, but the killing this enemy. If you do go into the options, it does say um, of an interface selection which you can choose, uh, like UI style. You can change, and, and there's a skin. You can switch between different skins for your UI. UI theme A on default, which does suggest that there's a possibility that other people will be able to make new. UIs for the game, but again, I can't be too certain on that at the moment. So yeah, this is Aeon. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to do in future videos and focus on, then just drop a comment and I'll try and do it next time. Like I say, this is the first in the series of videos, so I will be, I plan on doing more as I play through the game. Um, keep you guys along for the ride as I go along for it. As like I say, it is my first time through, so everything's pretty new to me at the moment. If you um, are playing the game in the EU, then hit me up on the Telematchus server. My character name is Lucifon. You'll see that in the uh, description on the side of the video. But yeah, just add me a friend's uh, request and uh, send me a chat invite. I think we'll finish it there for this video. If you tune in soon, you'll see some more of the game. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and rate the video. Cheers, thanks a lot.